Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up USB tethering so you can share your phone's internet connection with other devices such as this laptop here. So it's really easy to set up. First of all, you need to get your charging cable. So on this particular Android phone I've got a USB to a micro USB. So I'm just going to plug the USB into a spare USB port on the laptop. It doesn't matter which port you use, any spare USB port will do, whether it's USB 2 or USB 3. And then the other end of it is the micro USB that I just plug into here, the same as if you were charging your phone. Now we have to enter into the settings to allow USB tethering. So if we go to this icon here, and then you need to look for the settings icon. So here is the settings icon. Tap that, and underneath wireless and networks, you will see it says more. So just tap more, and then underneath this menu here, it will say tethering and portable hotspot. Now you just tap that, and then it says USB tethering, USB connected, check to tether. If this was blanked out, it means you haven't got your USB connected. So connect your USB first, and then all you need to do is hold that down there, and right now it is tethered, and if we have a look at the internet, it's not working at the moment, but give it about 30 seconds to a minute, sometimes it might take a little bit longer, and it will start connecting to the internet. So I'm gonna go to google.com. Oh, there we go, it's already come up with BBC. You go to google.co.uk, and at the moment you can see now, it is connected to the internet. Yeah, and there we go, you can search the internet and it's using the internet connection from your phone. So obviously make sure you've got a good plan where you've got unlimited minutes or on this particular phone there's 25 gigabytes of data on it. If you've only got 500 megabytes, you would only wanna be using this in an emergency and you wouldn't wanna be streaming movies and stuff like that. So nice and simple to do. All you've gotta do is USB cable, plug it in, change the settings here and it starts working. It's as simple as that. And you'll be able to plug this into your PC as well. Okay, hope you found that video useful. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Take care. Bye now.